that this was a moment to revisit the book. And little did we know that it was actually Heidi Thomas's favorite book, and was very hard, Heidi's the dog, by the way, was part of Heidi's sort of literary initiation. And um, she decided she wanted to write it. And this was January of last year. And it went on the BBC in, at Christmas time. So this was the fastest um, turnaround from a commission through to actually being on air in the, in the history of the world. It was extraordinary. <laughs> and, and Heidi did a stellar, wonderful job. So Heidi, when you sat down to start writing, kind of how did you, how did you tackle it? Where did you start? I think I love the book so much. I didn't think twice about saying yes. And then I sat down to do the adaptation. And I really thought twice about saying yes, but it was too late. <laughs> I think um, one of the things is the great books come up for adaptation perhaps once every generation. And I knew instinctively that if I said no, the chance would never come again. Um, we we'll often talk about relevance when we're dealing with classic adaptations, but the thing for me with this, Colin's absolutely right, a real dialogue has sprung up since we were filming this, when we were filming this. But I think a novel about young women finding their voices and learning to sing is never not relevant. And I just wanted, as a, as a mature woman, to pick that bat on it and run with it. For the sake of my own generation, I read that book when I was eight, and, and for these young women who've given such fantastic performances. And, you know, I just couldn't not do it. But I was scared and I was overwhelmed at times. But the best things you ever do in life are when you're scared and overwhelmed, because that's when you reach down and find something else and something new. So I'm glad you bring up kind of the idea of modernizing it, because I think there are some moments that feel so timeless here and that two sisters could say to themselves now, each other in 2018, and Catherine and Maya, are those are girls that we all know now. Ooh. So how did you guys kind of approach keeping it relevant and keeping it modern, and what kind of conversations were you having on set about not making it feel too costume drama? Go ahead. Um, well, I think the key is, is that uh, when you're working with a period piece, sometimes the obstacles that the characters are dealing with are dated, but the tools in, that they use to deal with those obstacles are not. Um, like, as people, we are always trying to be more independent, more brave, more honest, uh, less jealous, uh, less cruel. Um, and I think that the, you know, so it's just tapping into the, to the why and making those struggles and those feelings personal um, and real. Like, they are, like, you know, human beings haven't changed that much. Like, we don't wear corsets and we like have cars and um, cell phones to torture us, but we- We've all gone yeah. to a party with really bad hair. Yeah, we all have. That's one of the most relevant and timeless moments in the novel, right? Yeah, so. yeah. And we've all done something we regret. Um, and I think that that's, I don't know, you know? Timeless. Yeah. So regret is timeless. <laughs> <laughs> that's my message for today. We're gonna have t-shirts made. Yeah. Um, so Heidi, of course, other